hello. Uh, we are out and about today and it's a miserable grey, horrible, horrible, yucky, white, grey day. Um, but I've come to somewhere as a bit of a change. I'm not one for paying for waterfalls, I've said this many, many times. But I'm going to have a look at this little place. We are at Ingleton Waterfalls. And the reason I'm here is because it's been raining something chronic. So I'm expecting these waterfalls to be absolutely mental. And as I've never been here before, I think today's the perfect opportunity. Now, there's no one around the car park, so I've got my fingers crossed a little bit that I might get in for free. <laughs> that ain't going to happen, is it? But yeah, Ingleton Waterfalls, we've got, we're starting down the bottom here, and that's pretty much where we're starting. We're going to make our way up. I've got one, two, three to do, then I'm going to get to the top, and I'm hoping the man up there is with his cup of coffee, because I think that's where he parks in his little ice cream van. Walk down the path and then do four, five, and six, and then back round to here. About four and a half miles, they reckon two and a half hours. I reckon it's going to take me four hours at least. <laughs> So yeah, that's my plan, uh, the Ingleton waterfalls. <sighs> I do hate paying for waterfalls, but it's one of those days where there's, <laughs> there's nothing else to do. It's horrible. Everything's bland, everything's grey, everything's miserable. Uh, now, I have got a couple of things to talk about later on, and I will be talking about them. And uh, you don't want to miss out, because I've also got a couple of little Christmas gifts to give away. But it's that time of year where I try and give a few things away. So yeah, you'll have to stay tuned to somewhere towards the end or midway. Well, I don't know, you'll have to watch the video to see, but I will have a, a couple of something to give away for you. I haven't got a lot to gauge it on, but there's quite a lot of water running down this river, so I'm guessing there's quite a lot of water coming over them waterfalls. What do you reckon? Wow, this is a pretty little start. You come down these steps and you get this gorge with all this big rock face, this massive big rock face all over the side of you. So, First impressions so far is actually pretty cool. I actually quite like this. Um, yeah, I like the lines on these rocks as well down here. And it's, I know they're a bit slippy, but it leads you into a lovely little line and a lovely little scene there. So I'm wondering whether to get the camera out and put it on the capture clip. Uh, and just hopefully I can get a couple of handheld shots while I'm looking for the waterfalls, because this is cool. <laughs> walking up this path, I've just come across this uh, money tree, they call it. And, it, and it is called a money tree. Say again, you're taking a photo. <laughs> um, and yeah, this is really impressive. I've seen lots of these little money trees before, but nothing like this. This is a work of art, this one, really, really cool. Actually, a work of art, that is, that's astonishing, it is amazing. <laughs> Unbelievable the amount of coins that are in there and the way they're bent over as well. That is truly something else. I'm impressed. Definitely some water on this pathway. Good job I've got my uh, waterproof socks on. And that's one of the things I want to talk about from Otter. And I'll come back to it later on. So stay tuned for that one. Oh, waterproof socks. Heavenly! Oh my God, this bridge is pretty cool. The way they actually make the crisscrosses underneath, it doesn't actually look like you're walking on anything. It almost looks like you're walking on glass. <laughs> Spooky or what? Looks like I've just got to my first uh, waterfall. This is up there in yonder distance. You can see that up there. There's a nice bridge in front of it as well. So. This might actually make for an interesting photograph. I might get something out of this. Um, and this one's called Pecker Falls. <laughs> yeah, nice little pecker, eh? Let's go and have a look at this little pecker. <laughs> I don't know, it's tickled me. Well, we're at Little Pecker Falls. Not so much a little pecker, I can say. Look at the size of that thing. 
it is absolutely raging. That's quite a waterfall. I'm quite impressed with that. I'm just conscious of people walking up behind me though. Let's just flip my camera over a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. There she is. Uh, yeah, there's a shot there. Definitely a photograph. We're going to avoid getting that horrible white sky and we're going to cut the image off as low as we can and uh, we'll do a vertical and a horizontal and I think a vertical is going to work leading up that low but I am so overloaded with gear this is definitely a story to tell isn't it I've got all this gear and I'm sweating I've got glasses on that are fogging up my hat's wet and keeping me hot but I've got to protect the glasses I've got a bag of my camera my camera I've got a drone up. look at all this oh I'm getting myself so frustrated today and it's one of those days where there's no wind so it's it's humid and sticky and horrible and oh I'm getting myself frustrated so let's just clear my head a moment set the tripod up Put the camera on the tripod and let's get a little shot of this. Whew. Chill. <sighs> wow, this is impossible. This is really, really hard work. I've got the polarizer on and it's fogging up. Like I say, the everything's just misting up. Then a mist, little misty bit does actually add to the photograph. But the difficulty in this is I'm standing on a bridge that's got holes in the bottom. I can't actually set my tripod up. So I'm really balancing it on a really steep angle very very curious and I'm gonna to have to bracket it because if I expose to the water down here in the foreground to get that bit of movement and the texture then the background with a real big heavy throth is uh, blowing right out so I'm doing a, a slightly quicker exposure for the background which won't hurt uh, it'll, it'll blend it in quite nicely but I am aware I'm, I'm also stood on this bridge and uh, yeah it's not the easiest thing to do so I'm going to try and zoom in and do a, a slightly closer one as well because this is fantastic and uh, you may have noticed earlier on when I first started coming down here that there's a photography competition. Maybe this is the day where no one comes out with a camera and makes quite a unique photograph. <laughs> you never know. But the polarizer is definitely on because I like that darkness. So again, I'm going to go for exposure for the water in the background. This is a fantastic looking photograph. I hope it comes out as good as what I can see on the camera. And I'm just going to up my exposure. I'm at F8 and I'm going to keep clicking in my exposure wheel that you can see in front of me to just bring up the exposure a little bit more and more and more which gives me a longer longer time and then uh, hopefully we'll have some movement and some texture and yeah just blend those three images in but everything's fogging up the whole lens is fogging up and it's fogging up in between the glass which is really difficult but it does add to that nice atmosphere I must admit it's giving that a little bit of a softer misty feel which is a bit of a fake but it works <laughs> I think it works quite nicely right let's do one more underexposed for that frothy madness going on in the distance this is difficult but I'm now standing still on so I've calmed down a little bit I'm not sweating and having that panic attack <laughs> yeah I think I think I can make something of this got to get a phone photograph as well don't you what an amazing little thing this is and also for my patreons so this is going to go out to my patreons a little bit of a video tell them where i am so they get to know first-hand information so if you want to be a patreon <laughs> do check out the channel and come and have a look so patreons cut <laughs> this is a gusher this is no little pecker, this one. Wow, the noise of this, I don't know if you can hear it. If I shut up for a moment, just see if you can hear the noise of this. Yeah, she's thundering down, she really is. I don't think there's a shot from here. I think it's too busy and messy with these twigs and sticks all in front of it, but she's a good one to look at. I think the, the best view is across that bridge. So as much as I hate paying for waterfalls, I've got to say, and I take my hat off to the pathway because they put a good infrastructure in there's a good pathway there's a fence for safety and you've got the bridges without that bridge you couldn't have got to see that waterfall in those photographs so yeah i think it's worth a tenner to be honest so far and this is waterfall one i've got four more to go five more to go oh she's a beauty my right, gosh when you get up on top of it 
it really is something else. Hell of a lot of water coming over there. <laughs> right, I need to climb up onto this up onto this step. I step down to have a look at it. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, look at that. There's a lot of water. And there's another one further up the road. So let's get going. Oh my gosh, I've got to come up to the next viewing point. And the viewing points are amazing. Spot on. Look. Just look at this. Wow. Oh yeah, it's worth a tenner. <laughs> Sorry guys, 100% worth a tenner. This is fantastic. Well, it is in these conditions anyway. Right, I'm going to get another shot of this. There's a, a misty atmosphere going on up there anyway. You can see that haze. Uh, and I know what the mist is on my camera now. It's actually on the inside of the camera where I got it so, so wet yesterday. And I'm going to clip to me yesterday before I carry on with these waterfalls because I went to visit a cave yesterday and I've got some giveaways to do. So do check this one out. Go and have a little look at that clip and then I'll see you back in the past, in the future. I'm going to the past to come back to the future. You know what I mean. I'll speak to you in a sec when I've got a comb of camera set up for this shot. Oh, this is a beaut. It's going to be interesting to see what this thing's like when I get inside this cave. So yeah, uh, thanks to Oilight like for sending this. Absolutely fantastic for a little job like this where you're going into the dark. Uh, and I say backed up with a pair and two. Not only am I wearing otter hat, I've got a pair of otter socks on. Otter are waterproof or waterproof socks. And I've got no Wellingtons, no Wellingtons and just a little pair of shoes. So I am desperately hoping that uh, I'm gonna be able to keep my feet dry with these otter socks. I'm putting a lot on you otter, these better work. It definitely sounds like there's a lot more water in here than I'm used to seeing. So we're gonna go in and see how much water we've got flowing before we get any further. But this Seeker 4 is an amazing torch, an absolutely amazing torch. So let's have a little look, see. This could be amazing and it could be a disaster. And you can see how bright this is now by having this uh, on. And yeah, we've got a lot of water flowing through here. So I'm not actually sure. It's definitely an interesting one. I've never seen the water backed up down the bottom there as much as that either. So it's pretty deep down there. So I might just take a little tread over to the other side. Right, so I think we've got too much water to be able to get in here because I've got water coming through cracks and crevices in the wall that I've never seen before. This is really, really quite deep. So I think this is going to be an epic fail for actually taking photographs. But I just want to have a quick look round there. I'm going to risk my socks and getting wet, but I do want to get round and have a look and see what's behind this wall because I think this waterfall is going to be absolutely incredible. Oh my God, the amount of water that's coming down inside here is just absolutely ridiculous. I've never seen it bouncing up before. And it just goes to show how much water and spray there is coming up through this hole. This is just incredibly insane. It is absolutely crazy how much water there is in there. Woo! Well, there's no way of focusing on my face, I don't think. It's really, really deep and I can't get any further into the waterfall, but my God, it's amazing. And there's a load of water going on up the top here behind me as well. I'm gonna flip the camera around so you can have a look at it, but yeah, thank God I've got this Seeker 4 with me. She's an absolute beast of a torch. So I've actually heard in the past that you get water right up to the step and uh, it's looking like the water's actually starting to grow up the side of the step as it is. And definitely down the bottom there, there's a complete, complete blockage of water. Wow, time for me to leave, I think. Don't want to be in here any longer. The waters are definitely, definitely coming up high. Now I know you can't see me, but I've got something else in my hand as well. I've got this, uh, the Perrin 4, it's got, I think it's a 3000 milliamp battery with it. You can actually use this thing for charging your phone. And I'm going to show you how it works, but yeah, it's got a little tiny, Batten 4 torch inside and the Batten 4 torch is pretty immense but you can operate it by using the case literally by pressing the button on the side of the case so I can turn the torch on literally by holding the case so yeah just to give you an idea of what this beam's like I'm going to shine it back down in the cave just to give you a bit of an idea so I'm going to switch it on you can see down in front of me the light's pretty bright and as I shine it down and press and hold the button you can see that it gets quite intense and I think this is a 1,500 or 1,400 lumen. And so as you press the button on the top, and press it and hold it, you can see the light gets brighter and brighter and brighter till it gets to its maximum brightness. 
And I'm not kidding you, this thing is uh, seriously, seriously bright. If I come back down underneath this uh, rockage, you can see back into the cave. And you can see it illuminates the cave all the way down to the back. So yeah, an awesome, an awesome little torch. And this thing is tiny. If I was to pull it out of this case in front of you, you can see this thing is absolutely tiny. Just a little tiny weenie torch that's got so much power. Absolutely so much power. Look at that, what an absolutely fantastic beast of a little torch. <laughs> Amazing. And I say, it comes in this case. This case is fantastic. Keeps it charged. You can also put the other baton torches in there. Keeps it charged and it keeps it safe. And it's got a power output on the side there, 70. Uh, and it also has a, a USB-C for charging your phone. So yeah, fantastic. So we're back out safely. I could hear the noise from outside, how much water there was in there. Now, can you see my feet wobbling around? No, I can't get reason to raise my leg high enough. I've gone in there with literally a pair of socks and a tiny pair of uh, swimming shoes. And that's all I took with me. And hopefully my feet are still bone dry. And this hat, and this hat has a, a waterproof membrane. If you've got walking boots like me that you love wearing, that you couldn't obviously walk in water like that, put these socks underneath. Not only do you have dry feet with merino wall inserts, you actually have uh, warm feet as well. I, I did want to take some pictures, but obviously there's no chance of taking photographs in there. It's just horrendous. But yeah, there's the Seeker 4. It's got a USB-C on the back. It's not like your standard, um, your older, your normal style um, chargers. This has actually got a USB-C, so you can plug it into a standard USB-C. And like I said, I think this is a 400 meter beam. So it's got a massive, massive beam on it. It's quite bright. It's pretty intense. Uh, so yeah, thanks, thanks again for Olight for that. The wind's getting up as well now. And there's the other one. You can see there, it's nice and compact. It's about two and a half, three inches tall, I suppose. And the wind and the rain's coming now. And the torch is inside. And you can see this beautiful little green and gold color. It looks really, really expensive. It looks really, really high quality. It almost looks like it's nine carat gold. Uh, I'm, I love the color, it's beautiful. Uh, they do other colors as well. And the rain's pouring down. And I've got 70% on the battery. It tells me on the side there how much I've got. And like I say, if you need to charge your phone off it, USB-C port. Right, I need to get back in the dry and take these socks off and see how dry my feet are. Oh, crazy. You can see I've got my camera with me. I did take my camera with me, but <laughs> no chance of getting it out. <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna make this video just literally a bit of a pitch for Olight and Otter and that Olight, Olight are giving away a Christmas giveaway this year. Uh, they said I can have three Goba lights. Now the Goba light is like a little mini light. You can clip it onto your camera bag, you can clip it onto the side of your canoe, your rucksack, um, you can clip it on the side of your dog, cat, whatever. It's a little, like an emergency beacon light. It goes on the side of your bag. It's got, a, I think it's got red, green and blue lights on it. But I've got to get down and back through this muddy puddle. <laughs> and I do need to take these socks off. I do need to see if my feet are dry. I do hope they are. I really, really do. wanted to show you this this is the otter dry bag as well uh, i've actually got a uh, other osmos in there um and i've got the other hat in there i've got a black hat with this beautiful gold embossed thing on there but yeah the otter dry bags are fantastic as well and we've got other socks and things in here i'm sure we've got another pair of socks in here yep we've got a pair in here look at this we've got the shorter ones so they do different lengths as well these are brand new i'm going to put these on now to keep my feet dry i think and warm i need to take my socks off and have a look and see if i can have dry feet Right, so I think it's time to take my socks off and have a look and see if my feet <laughs> are actually dry. Oh, please, please, I hope they are. It's all add on is a tiny little pair of uh, shoes. So let's have a look. And how long these are, you can see they come right up over my knees. So are my feet dry? That is the question. Yes, they're bone dry. Oh, that's amazing. Well, they were until I put my foot out in the rain. So I'm going to put these other pair of socks on there. These are the smaller ones. Just to keep your feet warm more than anything. They're thinner than the leading brand ones as well. You know, like the leading brand seal skins that we've all heard before. Yeah, definitely thinner than them. So I'm so pleased my feet are nice and uh, dry still. That's fantastic. Otter and Olight have been really good to send me these. If I've got any links or affiliates, I will drop them down below for you. And uh, till next time, ciao for now, see you soon. Ooh. So I've just had the, oh yeah, welcome back from uh, yesterday, from the past. Uh, hopefully uh, you don't mind me doing that sort of thing. Couldn't get a photograph in that uh, cave yesterday. 
the water and the gushing was a little bit scary and I got a bit threatened, but them waterproof socks, well worth it. I've got a pair on today, I'll show you them a bit later on. Different style, these ones. Uh, very, very comfortable so far, keep my feet nice and warm. A little bit lower there, calf length ones, quite nice. But this, yeah, quite hard to take photographs when people keep coming up and around me. Uh, this is a viewing platform at the end of the day, so I've got a few. Hopefully I've made something good out of them because Oh, I'm hoping this is going to come out well because that's the sort of thing that, you know, like Mr. Gavin Hardcastle would come and do and photogasmic and all that sort of thing. And that is, that is impressive. I think I've got another one to get to. So let's get moving. But whoa, whoa, whoa. enjoy these couple of photographs. I've loved standing here listening to this. It's amazing. Right. And I've got something else to give away. So don't go away. God, these things are absolutely raging. They really, really are. Just come up to the top of that one you can see in that last picture. And look at it, look at that fumbling over there. I just spoke to a lady, she said she lives local. Uh, she's up here walking with her kids and her husband and uh, she just said she lives here. She's been here loads of times. She's never seen it like this. So I'm fingers crossed for having a slightly better picture than maybe some of the camera club competition ones that are down the bottom there. Might be worth entering, eh? Now I'm gonna try and get a picture of this but I'm not sure whether the water spray is going to make it difficult, but let's try, because the spray is bouncing at me at the moment, so I'm getting really wet. Well, give it a go. Don't know if you don't try, or don't try if you don't know, or you don't know, or I don't care. <laughs> A little bit further up the hill and, and as you can tell I am walking uphill and you can see me bag on the on my camera on the tripod that I'm holding in my hand it's nice being out in the open air though and not in the woods hey this is a good little trail though very good and a good path in all fairness now I'm looking down into the valley if you're looking down there which looks pretty awesome this place must be right busy in the summertime though. There's a couple of nice trees up here, I know, but not with this grey sky. All right, let's see if we can find a, get a bit further around the trail, get a bit of footwork going rather than standing. That last waterfall was quite difficult with the spray. Hopefully you've seen a panoramic image because uh, I did try and shoot a pano of it and I think it worked. I think it came out okay, but very difficult with the spray, cleaning a little, oh my goodness. I've just seen another waterfall. Oh, nearly twisted my ankle and all. Wow. <laughs> They're massive, massive waterfalls. Okay, okay, right. Might have to get another photo. Jeez, that's big. Okay, so I've taken a couple of pictures of this one. Just a bit of a wide angle, big spread uh, because the rain's coming quite hard and I'm only at the second waterfall and I've got a long way to go still yet. So uh, yeah, that was just a quick photograph of the big one going on there. So let's make our way up to the third waterfall and see what we've got on offer up that one. And I'm hoping that little cafeteria thingy or the, the uh, ice cream van is up at the Ingleton car parking spot because I fancy a coffee now. We're out in the open air now, and we've got up the top, up to where the Ingleton Path is. That's where we go up for the Ingleton Path, up on that walk up there, with the lone trees and the uh, uh, erratics that are up there. And normally, Mr. Ice Cream Man's parked there when he's not there. <laughs> I'm gutted. <laughs> Never mind. I'll have a look when we get up onto the path anyway. But for now, I've just got to make my way round, get onto the old track, 
and keep ourselves moving. And uh, we're at the top at least. So it must mean that the rest of the walk's downhill. That last little bit was hard work. A lot of steps and a lot of little bits of slope. But that's the, that's the top, I think. Or I hope so. God, it's a bit of a wonky fence. <laughs> oh, that's definitely wonky. I don't think much of these wooden steps, though. They're a bit slippy. When you get to the top and you see a, a godly ray shining over in the background, there is a glimmer of light and a hope of light. <laughs> it's not coming this way though, unfortunately, and it's really cold and windy up here, so I need to crack on and get back down into the waterfall territory and out of this windy pathway. Oh, wow! You're exposed up here. making my way through the farm now. A little cafe thing just here as well, which I didn't know about, because I've never actually walked this far down. So I'm probably maybe two thirds-ish, if you remember the map. I've come up the side, one, two, and three, come along the trail now, the red dot, and now I've got to make my way back down to three, four, no, four, five, and six. <sighs> Seems like a long way to go. So I've just come up onto the main road now, so we walk down the path, cross the road, through the stile, through the gate, and now we've got to pick up the trail on the way back down. Just spoke to a guy on the path, you know, you can see him walking his dog, he said it's awesome down here. So let's see if it's as awesome as it was the other side. So we are back with our waterfalls. First one, not overly impressive, there's a lot of sky in it, but I'm going to eliminate the sky, I'm going to make it all about the water and the flow. So yeah, if anything, it's going to be a record shot and uh, it'll do for me for now. I'm sort of waterfalled out a little bit because the amount of uh, effort it was to try and shoot in that rain and the on those bridges and things it makes it quite hard work but yeah it's nevertheless a nice little fall and then it goes down into the valley so let's have a little look down there i think that's going to be better but just a quick uh, quick record shot of this one before we carry on i think some of the problem i'm having as I'm trying to do this is because it's so bright with this white sky but then really dark conditions um, it's really hard to get an exposure for the water and for the dark dark rock faces but it's beautiful down here this is stunning absolutely amazing wow but yeah very very difficult we've got bright white water and black rocks the two combination is just ridiculous and now I'm stuck on a twig <laughs> it's just ridiculous to try and get that exposure right so what I am trying to do is I'm bracketing to try and expose for the, the really dark rocks that you can see there and then you know the white water because those two there is, is a vast difference it's like opposite ends of the scale so very very difficult to get very very difficult but I think a little bit of photo blending maybe I've got a bit of a peach of a shot here. I think this is quite a nice one because you've got the water leading in from the left-hand side, twirling around in the middle and then going down the right-hand side. Uh, so I think this is quite a nice shot. But again, super, super contrasty. Really, really dark rocks because the light's quite low and really, really bright white frothy water because there's tons and tons and gallons and gallons of water. So it's making it very difficult to get the right exposure. So I am just bracketing two or three exposures over, two or three exposures underneath just to try and get that difference between the movement in the water, the texture in the water, and then obviously the detail on the rocks. But my God, what a cracking scene if I can get this one to work. It's got a fantastic flow for it. And like I say, that lady said she's not seen it like this. Uh, so it's just, this is a rarity to probably have this amount of water and uh, conditions that you can actually stand in. So we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. Not that easy, but I think it works.
<laughs> I got absolutely drenched just then. Uh, the weather's just opened up, so I had to put it all away. But I've got a really nice photograph in front of me. And the reason it's nice is because it actually splays out in front of me, so the water's spreading out. So I've actually put a, a free stop on as well as a polarizer to give it that sort of fan at the, at the bottom of the image. And I think it's fanning out quite nice. So between one and a half and two seconds is looking pretty good. And it is, it's just that whoa, expanse of water coming out and going through the gorge. Right nice, that is that, right nice, I like that one. Right, one more and then we're moving. I do have one complaint about these magnetic filters is when you put two together like the polarizer and the other one you've got no way of getting the fingers in to actually pull them apart the magnets are so strong on these that they're really difficult to get apart and that's when I tend to lose them uh, or I tend to nearly lose them when I'm trying to uh, pull them apart oh excuse me for knocking the lens yeah they're very very tight stuck together so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe a slight finger regress where you can get your fingers in them to pop them apart Think about that, you guys that make filters. Okay, for all those that are sticking with me and stayed watching this all the way through, this crazy event of walking and taking waterfalls, uh, yeah, we've got 25 pound gift voucher from Otter to give away. So if you've been watching, you're lucky ones because now you know you can get a pair of Otter gloves or hat or, or uh, socks or something like that you've got a 25 pound voucher for the lucky winner so if you want to enter same as all the other ones you've got to be obviously liking and subscribing but you've also got to drop me a comment below in the description uh, and you've also got to go onto my website paulcomptonpdphotography.co.uk and uh, drop me an email and i'll connect the two with your name so make sure you leave your name and if you do both you'll get entered so it's not a free-for-all. Oh, look, we've got a little bridge down here. I need to go and have a look at this little bridge. Uh, so yeah, it's not a simple free-for-all. You've got to put the effort in to make the enter for these uh, prizes this year. So a quick look down here, and then we're carrying on. Well, there's not a lot underneath me, I must admit. If you were to look down here, literally look right down below me, I've just got this massive chasm of water <laughs> rushing down underneath my feet. And uh, yeah, it's a little wire mesh bridge to walk across. So if you don't like that sort of thing, don't go down there. I'm guessing that up in front you can see behind me there it is and there's a pathway that leads across it there so we're going to go across this water and then the amount of water coming down off the fields and off these little streams is probably why this thing's gushing as much as it is quite cool isn't it little mushroom with some coins stuffed in the top very pretty now the waterfalls seem to be sort of petering out as we're going down the hill now so it's like just getting less and less and less still impressive still good walk still nice looking down there looking at the water which is there uh, but we're walking along the edge of the valley uh, and we're going sort of down the chasm so I just think it's gonna get less and less and less as we go down so maybe one more there might be one more waterfall left snow falls is up there not very pretty uh, let's see what else is left I'll see you back at the car park.
for you that have stuck with the video again, I'm going to repeat myself. I did a Christmas video. We may be seeing it before or after. I don't know. If it is, I'll be up on the corner. If not, then it'd be coming out after this, but I think it'd be before. But in our little Christmas giveaway this year, I've done it a little bit different than normal. Um, I've got three different style of sets from KNF filters. KNF concept are giving out away filter kits. Uh, I've got one set to give away, but three different styles, and they'll be up on the screen so you can see them. Uh, uh, just, just pick the one you want if you're a winner, and uh, yeah, they'll send it to you. I've also got three cleaning kits as well, and I'll do a bit of an overlay and show you what they are. You get a, a blower, some cleaning cloths, and a little one of those little brush things as well. Uh, so I've got three of them I can give away. Uh, I've also got um, three Goba lights from Olight. So again, they clip on your bag, which I think are great. If you're going out in the night and stuff like that, it's just like a little safety light that you can have on the back of your bag, uh, which I think is quite cool. So I've got three of them to give away. Uh, I've also got a pair of Valorette gloves. You've seen me probably with my gloves on and off today as I've got warm and cold and stuff like that. But I've got a pair of Ma uh, Markov version three V3 gloves to give away. Uh, they're fantastic. So uh, male or female gloves, they're a different, slightly different fit, obviously. Uh, you get to pick the size, I'll send them straight to you. Uh, I've also got, um, I've got a guidebook from Ellen Bonus, one of the Val Rolly, uh, Val, Val, Long Valley Books, that's what it is, Long Valley Books, so you, you can pick the book you want, they do Yorkshire Dales where I am now, they do the Peak District, Lake District, North Wales, and I've got a photograph in the North Wales book, uh, quite proud of that, and so yeah, you get to pick a book. Uh, also my calendar, I'm going to give away one of my calendars, 2024 calendar, uh, which is basically 12 amazing photographs for me. <laughs> um, we've also got a £25 discount that I've mentioned from Otter. Uh, Otter are manufacturers of waterproof gloves or hats and stuff like that, so you've got a £25 voucher, which I think is absolutely fantastic, and thank you to Otter for giving us that. Anything else I've got, I'll put on the screen for you, just so you can see. Just get my head ticking over as I'm going along. Um, but yeah, all in all, not a bad little giveaway really. Right, so what you've got to do, and you can pay full attention to this, you have to go to my website, along the bottom of the screen, paulcomptonpdphotography.co.uk, and uh, go on the contact page, send me an email through the contact page telling me what it is you'd like and you'd like to enter, and your name, that's the same name as what your YouTube comment is going to be. And you've also got a comment in the description, or comment below, so I can see that they link the two together. So it's a double whammy, you've got to do it twice to enter into it. Um, Oh, look at this, Ingleton Quarry. That's pretty cool. That might be one worth explore, exploration one day. So yeah, that's what you've got to do to be in it to win it. So yeah, don't miss out. You know you've got to. <sighs> I'm so ready for coffee now. Oh, maybe I'm ready for coffee and cake or even a soft couple of biscuits or something like that. You know me, <sighs> always like a biscuit and a bit of cake. Oh, getting tired now. That's not... <laughs> These gates try and catch me out. So I think I'm done now. I think I'm walking away from the waterfalls. So I'm heading back now, back down to the car park. Uh, thank you for watching. Please do enter for the Christmas stuff. I know it's not been a standard Christmas giveaway, but it's not been a standard year either. So I wanted to do a bit different and just add it in. If you enjoyed the little cave bit as well, that was really exciting and those torches are fantastic. Olight, I've really got some fantastic gear. I know they're a bit pricey, but when they're totally waterproof, rechargeable, robust build quality, strong quality, you pay for that, don't you? And the lighting on that Seeker 4, 3,100 lumens, she's a beast. Right, thank you, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give us that thumbs up and I'll see you somewhere else next time my videos at the moment have you noticed they're all over the place <laughs> keep you on your toes on it ciao for now